What's up, BOA fans? I'm Carla Leal. I'm the digital media coordinator for Bird Dog Generina. This summer, we are jam-packed with awesome concerts, and I want to push myself and prepare like the artists do. For the next 21 days, I'll be partnering up with FitLab to get concert ready. Join me as I challenge myself to work out five times a week, consume no sugar, alcohol, or caffeine. Let's go. What I want you to do is look at these areas, right? This gray area, that's where we want to get to, right? And that's what we're here for. We're going to go ahead and try to get that down. Okay, bought my groceries for the week. Day one, we're all packed up. We got everything. The workouts are different every single day. So, um, they're very tough in the sense of pushing your body, working different muscles that you probably don't normally do on your own. As hard as they can be, they are actually like, once you're done, you feel very accomplished. So I've liked that. And I also like that I've been able to really push myself in sense that I wouldn't normally do. Like if I'm on my own, I probably wouldn't be pushing myself that hard or to that extent. So I feel like I'm actually getting a good workout compared to if I was on my own. So as far as day-to-day -day meal planning, it's pretty good. I have my protein, I have a carb, I have veggies, and it's not too hard to make something that I like because you season it well, that's not the issue. I think the hardest part has been the sugar. I can't have any sugar and my body wants it because I'm so used to it. A few differences that I've noticed like within the first week and a half is I definitely feel less bloated. So without the, like the intaking sugar, I definitely feel like my rings are a lot looser, my clothes fit slightly better. Like, and I don't think that has to do with weight because I noticed this within like the first three days. Good morning, it is 9 a.m. on a Sunday and I'm getting ready to go work out because I have to complete the five times a week. Um, but I got hurt on Thursday, so I didn't go Friday or Saturday, but today I'm feeling a little bit better, so I, got myself out of bed and I'm gonna go to the gym. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit. Thanks to Miami Fitwear in McAllen, Texas, they went ahead and created this custom outfit for me. So let's, let's take a look. As you can see, everything is on the downward spiral, right? So mm -hmm. that's good, right? So that's where we want, okay? Our weight went down, uh, we dropped about three pounds. Uh, your muscle went down just a little bit, which sometimes we'll see, but we'll talk about that here in a little bit. And then body fat went down, all right? Mm -hmm. So again, moving in the right direction, so. Week one was tough. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fit person. I'm not exercising every single day. So it was a big change to me. And working out five times in one week was just a lot. But everyone was super nice. So going to Fit Lab, even like the Edinburgh location or the Westico location, they were both like they were everyone was nice. I don't think I've ever gone to any of the classes and not spoken to someone new. So that kind of says a lot about the community. I think for the second week of this challenge, I definitely want to push myself a little bit harder, lift a little bit heavier, and go a little bit harder in my workouts, even though I'm not feeling it. Week two workout wise was really intense. I think I really felt the intensity of these workouts, especially because when I didn't want to go work out, I was dragging, I couldn't get caffeine in my body and I really needed that extra push. So sometimes I felt like, yes, I got a workout in, but was it the best workout? So I think that played like a mental role in everything, I felt like I wasn't doing as good in week two because I didn't feel like the workouts were as great for me because I didn't have that energy. This week, I'm really going to focus on making my meals at home the way I did the first week because I think that's where I saw the most progress when I was really in control. If I had been cooking and been more in control of my food, I think I would have seen bigger results. So I think for week three, I really want to focus on cooking at home, making sure that I know what's going in my body and in my food. So we partnered up with Miami Fitwear and this is one of the outfits. Um, it's really kind of given me that pep in my step for these workouts It really got me excited and made me feel a little fabulous during my workouts. For week three, my coach and I talked about maybe changing up my diet plan so that way maybe we can see better results in the last week. So we'll see how that goes. I'm a little excited 
but also a little nervous because we reduced the portion sizes and but that was also because i'm not consuming as much protein as i should be so we'll see how this goes week three was great i was really excited once we switched over the diet plan and i felt like there wasn't going to be any change guys but when we did that final consultation i was so surprised i was really excited but i think after the, the third week it really showed me that like i only did three weeks y'all these artists are constantly on exercise mode on diet mode for months in advance prepping for these shows because they have to like practice their endurance they have to get in shape can they sing while they're running around the stage like look at faith you know so it really surprised me that i handled three weeks but gosh it was it was intense y'all it was it was intense after that consultation, it really opened up my eyes to think about how these artists and their trainers help them really achieve this look that they're going for for the shows and the tours. For the tours, the artists are definitely in character. They have their outfits, and so I wanted to get in character too. They were super comfortable. They were so flattering, and like I said, they were custom for me, so like Miami Fitwear did an amazing job. When I put these outfits on, I definitely felt confident because I wasn't in the generic black shirt, black tights, all of that. Like. I felt like all, all eyes were on me. So after three solid weeks over at Fit Lab with their amazing coaches, that amazing diet plan that we really saw a big shift in the last week, I really felt like it's all mental, guys. So the reason I did this three-week challenge was to really embody everything that these artists do before going into going on tour, right? They have to prepare for their endurance, running around stage, making sure that they can sing while they're on stage. We look back at Pepe Aguilar and Angel Aguilar, they're on their horses and trying to sing, and that takes endurance, that takes skill. So I wanted to really challenge myself to something very similar to what a lot of these artists do before going on tour, and that is going on in a very intense and very focused workout and diet plan. So that's what we did for three weeks, guys, and we saw a huge change. Now we're ready for all of the concerts this summer, but are you? So go to burdockdinarena.com to get your tickets to your favorite show, and we'll see you here.